What's going on, YouTubers and air gun enthusiasts? Welcome to another episode of Airstream Rifles, and I'm your host, Urban Alvarado. Today, we're going to be talking about a product that's been around since 1932. I remember seeing this product in my local retail stores, especially in my youth days. I've seen things from harnesses, I've seen things from targets, pellets, BBs, rifles, pistols, CO2 cartridges, all by this one company out of Bloomfield, New York. Crossman has definitely been a reliable product, especially in my youth days. I had a 760 Pump Master and the thing was pretty much indestructible. Now, one thing that I ran into a situation here living in the city limits, you cannot train with a real life firearm here in the city limits. So what I decided to do was go a cheap route, bought a Crossman MK45 and was able to succeed in my tactical training and drive fire uh, training um, here in the city limits while not disturbing the peace. Now. I'm going to introduce you the MK-45. MK-45 semi-auto pistol. Uh, it's a mechanism repeater power source of a 12 gram co2 cartridge ammunition is steel bb 20 bbs in the magazine 0.63 pounds 7.22 in, uh, inches um, smooth bore fixed blade for the front uh, rear is notch i bought these magazines uh, spare magazines for the mk45 they actually work really well and these are the other um, pistols it's compatible with so they're pretty cool now the MK45 was purchased at Academy for $30 came with a nice really smooth trigger Picatinny rail mount for your optics um, 20 round magazine now your CO2 cartridge is installed in the handle mechanism as you slide out the handle uh, 480 feet per second not bad for a crossman pistol um, I also mounted a red laser that is rechargeable uh, I personally mounted that and the crossman also did come with a slide um, safety feature which is pretty cool um, Pelgun oil you will purchase and power lit co2s will be purchased What's going on YouTubers? I appreciate you for staying tuned in. We're outside at the range and we're going to be using the MK45 to take down six potential targets that I have set up. We're going to see if it stands up to durability, performance, and precision. So check out our targets.
Now please note on this video, I shot two extra magazines off camera. The other two were on camera, just so I can show you the full potential of the MK45. I did have a couple of flyers, but not so bad. This is the third target. That's the second target. That's the fifth target. And the last one is the sixth target. Not bad. Man, we're back from the range and wow, did I have some fun. The MK45 definitely provided us the features that we needed to complete the mission. Crossman also said as fast as you can pull the trigger and wow, was it durable and the CO2s uh, did last up to somewhere between nine magazines before it started weakening. Uh, at the ninth magazines, you can tell that it started weakening pretty bad. Uh, 480 feet per second, uh, smooth bore. Of course, we're gonna have a couple of flyers. It is a short barrel, uh, but so far as tactically uh, enhancing, um, dry firing was definitely a thumbs up and the reloading uh, definitely made me feel like I was holstering a real gun other than it did not um, excessively blow back. It's not a blowback or you can't be able to cock it to kind of mimic that. But so far as dry firing was a good thumbs up. A good thumbs up for, by Crossman, 480 feet per second. I bought this thing at Academy for um, 30 bucks. Um, the magazine uh, I did buy it separately. The man, it did come with one, but I did buy the other separately. So, guys, let me know what you think about the MK45 made by Crossman uh, 4.5 BB. Um, I use steel BBs, and I never have a problem with the steel BBs. I did notice using the Crossman copper uh, copperhead BBs. Uh, I have witnessed a uh, malfunction. Um, but the steel BBs so far as Daisy, which is a good product also, um, I had no struggles with it at all. So guys, let me know what you think about the MK45, um, drop comments below and subscribe to my channel and, uh, God bless all you guys and long live the Republic till next time, uh, on Airstream Rifles and I'm your host, Irvin Alvarado, long live the Republic.